Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, I'm just making this video quickly. In this video, I'll be showing you how to clean up your Windows XP context menu. So what is your context menu? Well, when you right-click folders and files, a menu pops up with actions you can do. And when you install some programs, such as WinRAR or 7-Zip, they'll add actions to your menu. But sometimes, your menu will get very big, and say when you're working, you might not be able to access the whole menu even. So, we're going to clean it up a bit. I'll show you how to remove certain items from this list. First, you're going to need to go Start, then Run. And in here, type regedit. Right? And in regedit, the first thing you're going to see is this here. Now, you're going to need to go to H key classes root. Scroll down in here until you get to directory. Alright, and when you're in directory, open it up, and you're going to want to go to Shell X, and in Shell X, you'll have your context menu handlers. And in here is some of the options you have in your context menu. And before you do anything in here, back it up in case you want to put it back. So let's say I wanted to remove 7-zip. So first thing I do is click it, and then go File, you want it to Export, put it on my desktop, we're going to back it up, we'll just call it 7-Zip, Save, and here on my desktop is my backup. So now we're going to delete it. Yes. And it's gone, and I no longer have 7-Zip in here. It's that easy, and if you want to import it again, Click your parent menu, click file, import, and then select your reg file. And it'll re-import, and we'll have it back again. So there you have it. Now, a warning, you can really screw stuff up if you mess around in the registry, so don't go beyond what you know how to use. And I guess that's the end here. If you found this tutorial useful, please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more video tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.